Welcome back. I'm Gary Parr. And I'm Bonna Pfeiffer. You're listening to the midweek version of Fiber Talk, the twice weekly podcast for the needle artist. Yeah. Hey, I'm excited. You know, we'll get to the needle part in a bit. I'm excited. Uh, Going to record next week with Ellie for the artist nook. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do our first one. Just going to be Ellie and me talking. And yeah. then uh, then our first show is going to be her art teacher. Mm-hmm. And so I'll be interested to talk to him because art teachers who, yeah, they teach art, obviously. But then you, you know that behind the scenes, there's always like some incredibly creative artist. Yeah. And so I'm anxious to get into that because I remember our band director uh, was, you know, he was just our band director, just a teacher. And then one day we heard him practicing his trumpet. Holy smokes. Holy yeah, smoke. Fantastic. And then that's when we learned that he was a some well known, brilliant jazz trumpeter. And of course oh. that was before we had the internet or anything like that, so you didn't have a way of looking that stuff up. But uh yeah, I remember just walking by and, and you could hear it coming down the hall. Who is that? Because we knew nobody <laughs> could play like that in the band. And um yeah, so I'm I'm always curious about these these creative teachers and what they can, uh, what they do in their own time. And mm-hmm. yeah, so it'll be interested to hear what he has to say. And yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that because it's going to be, well, see when, when, uh, we first talked about it, I was thinking painting, drawing, cause that's the kind of thing Ellie does. And right. I thought, all right, I'm just going to be a dumb guy riding along here. What do I know? But then I thought, wait a minute, I've done a, a few photography things. Mm-hmm. And so that fits in. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, all kinds of things. So looking forward to, to getting started with Ellie on that, the artist nook, and that'll be the address, the uh, website, the artist nook.com. So, right. Yeah. And I was thinking while we were down at Sassy Jack, those pictures, those photographs that she has hanging there in the front, you ought to ask her who those, you know, she has to have con connections with that guy. Yeah. Cause whoever that is does some really nice nature photography. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. So looking forward to that. We're going to get that going here in the next couple of weeks. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. With Ellie. Yeah. She's excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the, the logo, uh, what you said, she knocked that out in five minutes. Yeah. And then yeah. we were going for a walk and you were text. I guess she had just sent the logo to you and you texted her back while we were on our walk and said that it was fantastic. And she was all smiling and texting me back. And I go, who are you texting? And she goes, my new best friend, Gary Parr. <laughs> 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 so anyways, yeah. She, and I said, well, what are you texting about? And she goes, the logo, I sent him the logo. And then she showed me, I didn't even know that you asked her to do the logo. And I go, wow, that's good, Ellie. And she goes, it only took me five minutes. <laughs> I yeah. was like, oh, well, mm-hmm. yeah. okay. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I, I thought, okay, now i got to come up with a logo, and yeah, I'm no artist, and the, the Fiber Talk one, that was pretty straightforward, a microphone and the word Fiber Talk. But I thought, we've yeah. we got to have something a little artsy, and I thought, oh, geez, now i got to come up with a logo. And then it was like, you idiot, at the other end is an artist, user. And, <laughs> yeah, and then, of course, for her, it's not even, yeah, it's just quick and dirty. So, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and so yeah, so Keith and Ellie were at Sassy Jacks for the uh, weekend. Bristol Sampler and mm-hmm. Margaret was was uh, came along, and mm-hmm. now we're uh, yeah we're we're in a hotel in um, uh, Louisville because I uh, on the way home I have to stop for a conference for the paying job, and mm-hmm. so we're in a hotel in Louisville today, and then the conference starts tonight and tomorrow, and then we go home Wednesday. And yeah, if you hear any um, a loud noise, it's because uh, mufflers are apparently optional in Louisville. Um, <laughs> we're third third floor uh, on a busy street, and yeah, it's been every now and then. Yep. So if you hear that, I'm not editing that out. It's going to be ambiance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. So that was a fun weekend. We uh, boy met a lot of people, learned a lot, uh, did a lot. What there's nine. Yeah, nine videos that we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were busy. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I feel like we covered a wide range of topics. I mean, we did our goofball stuff. 
you know, entertaining stuff. But there was a lot of, um, a wide range of topics on all of the videos. But, you know, the, the one that I enjoyed the most here this morning were uh, the people themselves telling us why they, you know, what kind of, what their experience was during the weekend. So I encourage everybody to at least watch that one. You should watch all of them because it's all good fun in all of them and you'll learn something because we did get technical and tell a lot about what we were told by Claudia um, that your Kistler this weekend, but um, that was all good fun. And I really enjoyed, you know, the people talking about what their experience was because that's, you know, impartial. We can tell you, Oh, it's fabulous. Come down here. But when it's really from the people that are there doing it just besides us, it's, it really hits home with how wonderful the experience was. And it truly, truly was a wonderful experience, top to bottom. Yeah, yeah, that was that was really well done, well organized. Yeah. And Kim had it together. Kim and all, well, it wasn't just Kim either. Uh, no. All of her, uh, all the people who worked there at the shop and her husband, Emmett, El- Elliot, what, Everett, jeez. <laughs> <got, laughs> Thanks, Martha. <got> <laughs> yeah everett Everett, what a nice guy he is yeah he's terrific yeah oh and i'll put up a picture um of a it's a basically it's a gallows that he made to hang bathia because that's a reversible sampler and and, uh, from hands across the sea and kim had that uh, uh framed so you can there's glass on both sides and he made a a piece to hang it so it's on a swivel Mm-hmm. So you can see that from both sides, and I took pictures of both sides. And he was he was telling me he was telling me that he had his drawing, and he must at Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever he was at to get materials. And he had his drawing, and he he said somebody saw it and and just gave him a look like, "What are you making?" And because mm-hmm. it, it really does look like a hangman gallows, <laughs> but, <laughs> and it's heavy duty. It's like out of four by four wood. So it was you know you can imagine a drawing. What do you just? What are you doing there, buddy? But uh, yeah, he, he's uh, he's built a lot of things in the shop there that uh, uh, make it function and make it store things better. And so I'll put up a picture of that because that's a neat way to show that uh, giant reversible sampler. Um, yeah. Yeah. What a what a just a genuinely nice down home guy he is. He just yeah, you just want to hug him almost. He's so nice. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, what was the funniest part of Everett um, this weekend, uh, my recollections of it was when you and Elizabeth's husband that was sitting in close to us in front of you, more for, in front of you than me, and her husband and you and Everett were all standing behind me like doing the, mm-hmm, yep, you know, men talk. <laughs> and... <laughs> I know. I felt bad because we were doing it right behind you, and I thought oh, we really should try and move here. I didn't care. I was just cracking up because it was like um, King of the Hill. Did you ever watch that show, King no. of the Hill? No. <laughs> well, it was like that. Anybody that watched King of the Hill, and you, and they're all standing, Boomhauer, and and all of them standing back there. Um, talk with their beer talking, except there wasn't any beer. But that, mm-hmm, yeah. Golly, yep, golly. That's what it was, was, back and forth between the three of you. I was laughing because of that in my head. But anyways, when Elizabeth's husband said, I think he asked if Everett was my husband. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, he asked something, and Everett goes, no, I belong to Kim. And I thought, wasn't that sweet how he, he belonged to Kim? And he does. And boy, golly, he really has done a lot of good work in that shop but that just really touched my heart when he said that i just made me i want to just like go oh you sweet thing but anyway so (laughs) yep and he he recognized my voice when i walked in um one evening (laughs) yeah he goes kim goes well you gotta recognize her right and he goes is that (laughs) vana and then i was like yeah it is vana nice to meet you but anyway so yeah what a sweet man just a just a general down to earth Yep. Sweet, hardworking guy. Yeah. So. Yeah, you get that a lot doing podcasts. Is I recognize the voice, and yeah, yeah, yeah it happens a lot. And boy, yep. or, or boy, I didn't know that you looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> I had that one time this weekend. And I was like, oh gosh, is that bad? Or good? <laughs> yeah, is that good or bad? Yeah. 
I try every day. <laughs> That's right. But anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really great weekend. Really fun. Yeah. We uh, meet a lot of people. I want to make sure to mention um, Millie Har, H A A R. Her address, Millie, I E H A A R, at gmail.com. Uh, Faith and Stitches gave me, it was very nice of her, gave me a box of or, uh, what, six or eight uh, blank greeting cards, beautiful cards. And mm-hmm. they have her designs on them, uh, samplers, religious. It's Faith and Stitches, so uh, Christian designs. And uh, just some really nice work. And, and I asked if she had the designs done, and she said no, she'd done them on, on uh, graph paper by hand, but that she had just learned how to use software. And they're just real nice designs. And the, fir- the, the first one, there was that one on top. I want to stitch that. So if you know Millie, uh, Faith and Stitches, Millie Har, uh, pressure her to um, use that software and get these things charted so people can stitch them because they're very nice. And she, yeah. oh, she was hunting me down because it was a neighbor, did you say? Yeah, it was a neighbor, man, I felt like, from South Africa. Yes, it was from South Africa, that part I remembered, who uh, was wanting to learn how to, wanted her to teach him how to stitch and mm-hmm. was hesitant because men, you know, don't stitch. And so she wanted my picture to show him that, yes, male types do stitch. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yeah. But, yeah, Millie needs to get these things charted so people can stitch them because they're very nice. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, we, who else did we meet? Oh, uh, w- oh, most bizarre. We were standing at the banding table, the mm-hmm. banding hutch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where Kim at? We'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you were telling me about this. Uh, was her last name Green? Yes, Janice Green. Yeah. She sent me a picture last around. It was last, I think, around last Christmas. Because if I remember right. It has um, Belschnickel Santa's in the picture along with these spools. And she had done red work, sam- you know, band sampler type things on banding and had wrapped them around spools. And I had never seen that before. I, I guess as in my research, I have found that, you know, there's lots of those floating around. But um, I had never seen it before. And she did them all in red because she loves red work. And um, had taken the banding and wrapped it around an antique textile spool. And um, it was just beautiful. And we were talking about her. And shortly after I was telling Gary, her name is Janice Green, blah, 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 blah. This lady came up to me and said, Vonna, I am so glad I came and got to meet you. And she wasn't in the class. She was just had come to buy some stuff. And it was Janice Green. And she said, I'm Janice. And I go, are you? Janice Green? And she said, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, 15 seconds ago, I was just, just telling Gary about yeah. you. Like and, and it was, no exaggeration, it was literally 15 no. seconds and she walked up and she wasn't there for the event at all. She just was mm-hmm. in the shop. I can't. Yeah. I still can't believe that happened. I know. I know I couldn't either. Yeah. And I was so dumbstruck, remember, because I could hardly even talk and I was staring at her. And I think that made her uncomfortable because she goes, well, I'm going to leave. I'll leave you alone. And I said, no, no, you can't leave without me hugging you. Remember, I hugged her. I do. And then and maybe then it was the drooling that made more. her uncomfortable. You think? Yeah, maybe it was that. <laughs> or, yeah, it might have been the drooling. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you wouldn't let her out until she, until she got a hug out of it. Yeah. 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 That was that was like unreal. And there's was a lot of people that I think that was there that was not associated with the class that had come on Saturday. That was Saturday, wasn't right. it? Right. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. That had come on Saturday to shop and had met and had said something to you or I and I I can't remember names. I'm not good with names. Are you are you good with names? No. I'm terrible. I'm not either. Yeah. And I can't, uh, and I, I, I get like Instagram handles and names mixed up. But anyways, if, if you met me or if you met me at the class and you want to be my friend or I, I, I would really like it if people would email me to kind of like straighten me out on what your name was and remind me <laughs> <laughs> who you were and where I Or to just straighten you out, you know, just straighten yeah. you out would help. Yeah. yeah, straighten me out would be great. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I had a really great time. Lots of, ni- lots of nice people. I met, yep. and I know you did too. He comes in late on Friday because he had to do a paying job deal on Friday afternoon when the 
class right before well it was you came like what two or three hours after the class yeah, actually yeah. started and um i was just sitting in our bad boy corner where we were <laughs> supposed to sit <laughs> and um Gary comes in and sits down, talks, you know, we had met before then. It wasn't the first time I laid eyes on him. And um, then he so she was up. over the she was over the initial shock. So yeah, I was. <laughs> I was over the initial shock. No, it was just like we'd known each other. I didn't even feel like I. Oh, gosh, this is the first time I've ever met you. I didn't feel like that. Did you? Feel no. That well, how, how many hundreds of hours have we talked? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. right there's no secrets between us <laughs> so anyways um but gary comes in and then he started working the room working all these lady <laughs> friends <laughs> but it is fun because it's the third time i've been there for an event and it, it, several of them uh have been there each time uh yeah. rachel and um elizabeth and mm -hmm. uh kim klein mm -hmm. she was there mm -hmm. the last time and mm -hmm. and several others and you know and, and it is hard for me to remember names and then like i'll do that and then now here i'm in louisville and so i'll meet a whole nother group of people right. and uh for work and uh yeah it's hard for me to keep track but yeah it's good to see uh, so many people and uh boy they show up for those things and it, it's great because there it's some amazing talent that oh yeah you know, just inspirational i just that's the one thing that i love about going to situation classes or retreats or whatever is just the sheer amount of inspiration you get from other people you know people will say oh i'm not talented i don't know what i'm doing and that is that's just a lie because there is not anybody out there that go that i have ever met in cro in needlework cross it whatever you want to fill in the blank where i have not come away completely inspired by them every every person you know like you know, the, the Har, what was her name? The card lady? Har. Oh, Millie, Millie Har. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Millie Har. What an inspiration that was with her car, you know, doing those, those, well, doing the designs themselves, but then making cards out of them. Yeah. That, you know, that's great. And then the ladies in front of me, um, Sherry Jones and Tori, uh, Thornberry. I can remember that because of the wild Thornberries. But anyway, but it's Thornbury, I think, B-U-R-Y. Anyways, Tori and Sherry Jones in front of us, those ladies have gone all over. They make the rounds, from what I understand. And that little um, squirrel, over one on 46 count, there's a video on it, people. Go watch that video. It's just me talking about it. And and uh, Sherry's standing there. She didn't want to be on video. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, so, 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 no, that, um, that, 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 was, that was really funny because Sherry, uh, I'm not being on camera, no way. So you just took that squirrel, that little disc squirrel thing, and and we did a video, yeah. But that is, I mean, you know, squirrels are yard rats to me, but um, that that's really that's the Bristol School uh, squirrel symbol, yeah. And and she did that over one, and then made a little uh, little disc out of it, finished it with a what there's a like a tape, a cloth tape around the edges, and then on the mm -hmm. back is is a laundry marker cloth with her initials on it. And, and I didn't yeah, know laundry, you could buy those. French, yeah. Yeah. A French monogram, a French laundry label or laundry tag. You can find them on Etsy. A matter of fact, would you be interested to know that I went on there and I thought, you know, VP, they won't have the initials VP. Guess what? They do. But, yep. Look at you. But I, but I think I can make those on my embroidery machine. Oh, I bet you could. Yeah. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to make us, you and I some on my embroidery. Oh, I'll bet you could, because that thing would just crank them out, wouldn't it? And just yeah, cut, just, yeah, just cut them, and you're good to go. Yeah, I think I can float. You know, they call that floating. I think I can float ribbon, because the ribbon was kind of like a just a regular satin looking ribbon. Oh, was it? And oh, I thought it was more of a, a cotton. It looked like a cotton twill type stuff. Yeah. But think about that. I got cotton twill from Sassy Jacks this weekend. Yeah. And I'm going I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to make make you and I some well, that'd be cool. my embroidery machine. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it won't be vintage but <laughs> or French. It'll be redneck Hoosier lad. Oh, but there yeah, you know, there's some character there. I mean, that's some <laughs> culture right there. So That's right. Yeah. But I was thinking about that last night before I fell asleep. I thought, you know what? I 
bet you I could make those on my embroidery machine. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, what an inspiration those two ladies were. And then Elizabeth, yep. she was inspirational to me because she had purchased the, um, before you came on Friday, she had talked to me about the um, Hardwick Manor Fanny frame. Yes. And um, she had purchased one that day. And she was showing me all, I, I did not go with the, even with the inkling thought that I was going to purchase a fanny frame. And she was showing me hers and doing all the specs and here you can move it up and down and look at this Fauna and I already wrapped it and look at that and look at this. You can set it on the, and I was like, okay, sold. I went down and bought one 15 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Elizabeth. Keith, thanks you, too. Um, let's see, who else? Oh, the ladies in the back, the Tennessee ladies, Judy Hall. Yep. And um, that's Holland House Gift. She, uh, Nicola did a video with her. We were going to, but we never really got around to showing. But you can look at it on Nicola. She finished uh, Sarah B. Several, several beautiful, huge samplers she did. And when I say... She's like my stitch idol. She has been for years because I followed her blog. And when I said that the other day on my Instagram, she was shocked. And it's like, why are you shocked? You, I mean, you do. And she goes, I just make X's. Well, that's all I do, too. And but she does it in a style and in a manner and and follow through <laughs> that I necessarily <laughs> don't have. So she um, really inspires me a lot. And then. Betty was, was sitting next to her, and that's all their stitch groups. So Betty, Melissa Gay, and Debbie, they're all in the same stitch group from Tennessee, and Melissa Gay is the one that was with, and Debbie did a, also did a video with Nicola. Because Nicola, I guess they had met before in other, in other classes there, or was it in yeah. the attic? I know yeah. they were in the attic, too. So I, I think yes to both, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. What an inspiring group. There was just so, so many people. Everybody there was inspiring to me. Lots of, lots of very accomplished needle women. So, yeah, yeah that was the other part. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's plenty of talent in that room. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause so, uh, for those who don't know, we did, we did nine videos mm -hmm. through the weekend, and they're all on our uh, YouTube channel. But then for the Sunday show, what I did at wetalkfiber.com is I put them all on uh, on one page. So you can go to wetalkfiber.com, and all nine of them are, are right there. You can just watch them there uh, if, you, if you want. And then I put links to Claudia Dutcher's site and two or three other uh, Bristol Sampler-related sites so that you can have those resources handy right there. But all of that at wetalkfiber.com. And uh, so, yeah, it, it made it a one-stop thing on that page. But then if you want to go to our YouTube channel, uh, they're all there, too, either yeah. way. Yeah. And I really appreciate all the, you know, all the kind words we got at Kim's and that we've received before and since. People, uh, really several, many, many people appreciative of what we're doing uh, you and me and all of our guests and Arlene and Debbie uh, with the podcast and people talking about how, how much they've learned, even if they aren't interested in a technique that we're talking about and uh, enjoying listening to us. And it's just really <laughs> makes, it, makes it worthwhile to know so many people are, are getting something out of these shows and, right. and enjoying them. So yeah. yeah, because it's a lot of time. I mean, I, I, it's not, I just show up and talk and I'm really good at talking, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing in life I know I'm very good at, but, um, and it might not mean, I don't mean that in a, that I'm good at it in a good way. I mean, I can just flap my jack, but, um, Gary spends a lot of time. I mean, my, oh, so many hours and minutes in creating out lists on what we're going to talk about or subjects that we might talk about. A lot of times Gary and I don't follow the lists, however. A lot of times? Yeah. It would be like the all time, the time. <laughs> yeah, we don't follow the list. But Gary spends a lot of time on making lists. He spends a lot of time on editing and enhancing and making, collecting pictures and making the videos and, you know, 
so kudos all go, the, the majority of the kudos should go to you because you you make fiber talk what it is and i'm just happy to that you want me to be around i mean honestly i mean that <laughs> i mean i'm just i'm just lucky because i get to feed my soul and my inspiration you know, for my own stitching, and I've just grown so much in the last year because of Fiber Talk, and so, and I think that that's what resonates with everybody. You know, it res we all can grow and learn, and have done so because of all the time that you spend. So, yeah, yay, Gary. Well, yeah. thanks. That's nice, uh, and I am glad to hear, it, and I'm glad to do it because uh, people are glad, people enjoying it and getting something out of it. And uh, here we are, what 25 minutes in. This show is sponsored by Sassy Jacks too. But no, there'll be no word from Kim because we're just talking about <laughs> sassy jacks sassy in general. Jack. So, but uh, we we appreciate that because you know our sponsors uh, make this possible to keep it going, and so that's you know support them. As, yeah. As you were saying in the in the uh, some of the videos uh, when it came to a product, call Kim. <laughs> just yeah. call Kim. But, yeah, just uh, call her. Yeah. 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 And, you know, and as always, Fiber Talk made me buy it. Gets you off the mm -hmm. hook. We mm -hmm. know that. Hey, so I learned something about banding. I, now, I've been, this, like I said, third time I've been to the shop, and she's had this hutch full of banding sitting in the front. I, I think it was oh. in the back one time. But anyway, and I never got what that was. It was like, okay, what is this banding? I, you know, what do you do with it? And, uh, boy, you, and, and then you said that to get the variety that she has, that's not something that's regularly available. It's something she brought from Europe or ordered um, from Europe. I don't know. I, it's from Europe. Did yeah. she bring it? I don't know if she went and got it. And I didn't like it. You know, I didn't tell her. I, I mean, ask her, you know, interrogate her. Where did she get it? But I know it's from Europe and um, it's fine, fine banding, L beautiful banding, all different colors, all different widths all different edges. Some have edging on them. Some do not have edgings on them. They were just gorgeous. And, um, I got to looking at the tags because each one of them has a maker's label on the roll of banding. And I got to looking at the tags and then I went home and I started one night to the, not home, home to the hotel. And I started like Googling that banding cause I'd written it down that name that I'm from the tag and that's all from your, all of it's from Europe. So mm -hmm. anyways, have, okay. So here, I want to know this. Was there that much in that hutch from every time you've gone? Well, certainly the last time I can't speak for the time before, but certainly the last time. And because mm -hmm. I remember mentally noting, what would you do with this stuff? You know, I, mm -hmm. it, the word banding does not suggest uh, an application and then I saw, obviously, you can stitch on it, but for what? And all I could think of was you could make bell poles out of it, mm -hmm. uh, which would be nice, especially if you did a reversible stitching. You could make a bell pole that would be interesting on both sides. But then now I, I now am, am owner of two lengths of, of banding because you came up with this idea. Well, I, I got it from Janet, right? And, and then Yeah, from Janet put, Green, yeah. Yeah, and then put your own little modification on it. So what we're both doing is taking uh, uh, borders and letters from Bristol samplers and mm -hmm. going to just fill up a band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Isn't that great? And we yeah. learned that in the – what kind of made it click with me is I was listening. Okay, so I had it on my head that I wanted some of this banding, right? And before I ever went down to Sassy Jacks, I wrote in my calendar – on the side notes where it has a place to write notes banding. So I, it, you know, I knew I was going to get some and that's all thanks to, to Janice green, but I had it in my mind that I was going to do like a, like a, there's a designer from the UK, Carol Rid, Ridyard, who is I stitch designs and she does a stitch along beginning in January every year for, I think it's 28 weeks out of the year. How many weeks are in a year? 52 weeks, right? Is in a year? Right. Yes. Every, every, okay. every time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm silly sometimes. Anyways, I think it goes for 28 or 30 weeks, this stitch along where she sends out a snippet and a lot of people stitch them on the band. Well, somebody had, somebody had one of those that they yeah. showed in the show and tell a band yeah, where, that, where they, yeah. yeah, they said every week 
and, you, and if you stay on top of it, you end up with a, a piece. But obviously, if you get behind, if it's every week, you don't want to do that. Yeah. But it was beautiful. It was it was white with like a delf blue thread. Right. Yeah. That was Melissa Gay. That was the one that was, that was hers? out on okay. the table. Right. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then there was a lady that stood up, the casket lady. She stood up and had one finished from this year, and she did hers, I think, in red. Yeah. And it was, it was all it was rolled up on the spool. Well, anyway, so um, Janice Green did that, and I don't know if hers were eye stitch design one stitch along pieces which you can get those people from i stitch design as pdf downloads fyi and um anyways so as i was you know as i want to do because you know i just do not have any projects to stitch i sit and like dream up all these things that i should stitch or need to stitch or whatever and as i was we were driving down to tennessee i thought you know i'm going i have all these Bristol samplers because I fell in love with them in February and since then I've come to own like 15 samplers and um, added to it this weekend and I thought you know I'm not ever going to be able to stitch these huge Bristol samplers all of them what but this banding idea would be a great idea where I can just do a line you know you can get a line you saw that what I got done in the car yesterday that was pretty quick and um so I'm stitching it over one. My banding, I think, is 28 count banding, and I'm just using DMC 498. And I'm taking either well, I'm starting with a small alphabet. So I'm doing an alphabet now over one, and then I'll go to like lines for so the marking lines that are in, and I'll pull from different Bristol samplers and just make my own. And as we learned this week from Claudia, or on Saturday from Claudia, Bristol sampler stitchers girls and boys would start out with a defined piece of cloth and they would hem it and then just start stitching and fill up every available space on that cloth and so that's kind of like what we're doing then right yeah Yeah. no and so yeah so you you're doing yours in red yeah uh, and i'm doing mine in blue because i got a a banding that has some blue striping on each side and Mm -hmm. um yeah i haven't started mine but because I was watching football games in the car, not stitching. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, so I'm going to get started. I'm excited because it's a simple thing. Mm-hmm. And then in one of the videos, we somebody had asked how we were going to uh, hold them while we stitched. And you said a hoop, and I said mm-hmm. Q-snaps. But then when I saw how you had it in your hoop, because uh, mm-hmm. I was concerned about side tension, but mm-hmm. it looks like that's a non-issue. So I'm just going to use a hoop, and I'm not going to haul Q-snaps around. Because that's going to be my travel project now. Um, I will say, I am so impressed with my hardwood hoop. I, I mean, I didn't have one. I got it like at Christmas time, and I never used it. And um, but I, you know, I had it and I wrapped it and all that stuff. And I never really tried it. I maybe did like one small ornament on it or some, something. But I am really kind of that just makes stitching more mobile, on the go type right. thing. You know. Yeah. And I need that in my life. And so, uh, yeah, I just tried it last night on the way home because I thought about stitching it, just you know, like stitching on it in hand because that banding, the ones that I have, it's kind of stiff, you know. And I thought, well, I can probably just stitch in hand using this. And then I thought, no, no, I'm going to try it in my hoop. Well, it works like a dream in my yeah. hoop. So, yeah, that makes it just really nice. So much the soul like a dream. that. And you were talking to Jean Lee that's, who sat next to you. And she just used a four inch hoop. And I've watched, you know, you were saying how she, that's what her preferred way to stitch is, is using a four inch hoop. And now I'm thinking I need a four inch hardwood hoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's what she, I said, w- 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 such a small hoop. She says, yeah, I prefer that. She, so she had this great big piece of linen that she was stitching on. And she said she just prefers using a small hoop when she stitches. And had her uh, reader glasses. I'm sure they were heavy man- magnification. Mm-hmm. And she was just sitting there stitching on uh, on linen in a four inch hoop. And yeah, it was. I thought, wow, you can't get any simpler than that, other than in hand. But uh, I was surprised because you know, someone who owns a shop like that, you'd expect her to have a a stand and a holder and a magnifier and everything. And nope, just sitting there, just. Letting the, you know, listening to the lecture and stitching away, and mm-hmm. yeah, it looks so. It just looks so simple and relaxing. Yeah, um, yeah. I, yeah, I don't I, know. I have to. 
because see, I have to. I feel like I have to have that light in the magnifier. But um, yeah, I don't know. Well, she, I I asked her how how heavy her glasses were because she was stitching. Oh, and we talked about this. She was stitching over one on forty six count. That and she was stitching Harriet Salt no. over one on forty six count. And I was like, how can you see that without a mag? And she goes, oh my glasses. And I was like, yeah, but golly, over one, 46 count over one. Because sometimes, I'll be honest with you, Gary, when I'm stitching Sarah B, I'm stitching her on 46 count. And sometimes I have a hard time seeing it. And she said that her glasses were five, magnif- 5.0 magnification. Then Sherry Jones in front of me, the squirrel lady, um, <laughs> henceforth, <laughs> henceforth known as a squirrel lady. <laughs> Said that her glasses were 7.0 magnification. Oh, I didn't even know and you I could said, get those. She said she got them on Amazon. Wow. 7.0. I tried them on, and I'll be honest with you, you had to look only one direction or I would get like oh, yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, but anyway. And don't walk yeah, with those things on. on. You fall right over. Yeah, yeah, that was magnified. But she was stitching over one on I don't know if it was 46 count or higher, but boy, you really could, you could really see it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And I will say this too. I'm going to say this too. I think I said it in one of our videos. I was shocked at, I did not use, I brought a light the first day because Gary and I both brought lights. I took mine home Friday night and never brought it back again. When they say Sassy Jack's classroom is bright by golly they are not lying that is the best well-lit stitching area classroom i have ever had the opportunity to be in uh, you did not need a light at no, no. all no no when they did that they put a lot of uh electric lights in but then there's there's so much window space yeah that uh the natural light yeah no that they when they redid that room and made it so it could be a classroom uh, well it, the quilt shop next door and kim i mean obviously they know what they're doing but they yeah they put plenty of light in so it makes it a great space yeah yeah yeah, yeah it was yeah just what a great a great experience kim and the gang just did i mean there was not anything that was not addressed. If you needed something, it was gotten for you. You know, if you needed help, they found it. Or if they didn't, couldn't answer your question, they would get Kim or somebody else to answer the question. Just a fabulous weekend. And, and I'm not just saying that to blow smoke. I'm being honest. It was just a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Claudia was a great lecturer. Didn't you feel like and she's so, I think that what impressed me the most is I love Bristol samplers before I went and her Bristol samplers.com website. I had stumbled across last February and had read everything on there. So what she talked about in class was a lot of what's on her website just expanded. But I think that what is so impressive about her is that you can tell that she genuinely loves bristol samplers yeah and she imparts that and you can't help but get enthused and want to stitch every bristol sampler that's on the face of the earth you know what i mean really i I just had came away very enthused and like yeah i want to stitch all this stuff (laughs) and you know so yeah she did she She really did a great job and uh, and Mm -hmm. she's going to be a guest we're going to record a show with her in the next couple of weeks so I don't know, within the next month, uh, she'll be a Sunday guest, so we'll get to learn. Not, I'm not going to just ask her to repeat the, the Bristol Sampler lecture, but learn about her and how she got involved in her stitching and so on and so forth. And, uh, All right. Uh, it, was, it was funny. She did uh, the, the, the model for the sampler that has the ship on it, and she made a comment uh, that she, I did this just so you could know I could do the stitching part too. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but she's been around a long time. I right. didn't realize that Dutch Treat Designs was her, you know, but I've heard that name for a long, long, long time. I've been stitching a long time. So I had I I I she's been around a long time and has done something. But what I was always impressed with is, you know, everybody thinks paper, stitching on perforated paper, ooh poo poo poo. That's one of her big loves is stitching on collecting paper 
stitched items and designing or stitching on paper. And yeah. I found that very, very interesting. Well, I will, I will say when, uh, when I did the video uh, touring uh, Vicki LaPiccolo Janet's house out in Phoenix and mm-hmm. seeing her collection the, of all the stuff that she has, all the antique samplers she has in her house and all the scissors and other accessories, all that stuff, and she has a tremendous amount of history in her house. The one that stands out for me is a little sampler that a boy stitched that she has, and it's stitched on perforated paper. And Is that right? Yeah, and that one stands out for me. That's the one I remember, and I wish she would reproduce that because – Mm-hmm. That would be worth doing, uh, stitching on perforated paper. And, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it was a Bristol orphanate, orphan or where she got it. I don't remember that. But, yeah, she has one, and it's, I don't know, six by six, something like that. Uh, not mm-hmm. real big, but, yeah, uh, stitched by a boy on perforated paper. Yeah. Well, I understand that Needlework Press, so Vicky, is um, they're trying to reproduce a um, – reproduce the antique paper because the antique perforated papers are much smaller than today's perforated papers. So they're trying to produce a perforated paper in a smaller count to mimic the antique paper products that they've collected in there. Yeah. You know, collected. And I think that Claudia is maybe like not, not uh, like corresponding or like helping you know, like they're talking. Well, Consulting. you can tell that they were. Yeah, yeah they're like. That's like the one thing that I came away with this weekend too is that all of these ladies are like consulting with each other. You know, all the industry ladies that are in this like sampler type business consult with each other, and I think that's just you know they're in a lot of ways could be in competition with each other because they're selling products that are similar. You know what I mean? To right, make their right way in life but they um they're consulting and and asking opinions and stuff like that of each other and what a wonderful exclamation point on just again how wonderful the needlework market can be and and helpful and you know sharing and caring and fill in the blank i just that's that's another thing that i came away with this weekend is just how that i saw how that in work right in front of our eyes so yeah 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 no, it was uh, it's it's fun. Well, it's just fun and and to get together for uh, events like that. But um, yeah, the the talent that was in that room, it's just <laughs> almost intimidating at times. It, it, right. It, yeah. And not even like the well known people. Just even just people like you and I. You yeah. know what I mean? They're just yeah, they just show up. And, yeah, there's just some in- incredible talent. People have done. Yes. Just, amazing things yeah yeah yep. inspiring definitely inspiring yep no it was it, it was good and and as we said in one of the videos if you uh if you can do it uh, get there because it's a great town too uh yeah. restaurants uh in the middle of the smoky mountains so that it's not too hard to see good scenery and especially for oh, for no. people like you and me from the flat well you bloomington has a few hills but um, mm-hmm. in Illinois, as I, as I say many times, uh, our biggest hills are overpasses to freeways. So, um, <laughs> we, you know, to get out there in the mountains and just driving in the mountains while, while challenging, uh, it's still beautiful. It's quite an experience. Right. Yeah. The glaciers didn't come to this part. Of, there's a pocket of Indiana where the glaciers did not come and it's here. It's, it's here in Bloomington and then South of Bloomington, kind of Southeast of Bloomington the glaciers didn't come. So Brown County is very well known for, it's actually an artist colony, T.C. Steele, who was a very famous oil painting, or I think he, he, he was a painter. I know that for a fact. I don't know if he did acrylics or oil. I think he did oils. But he lived in Brown County um, for a number of years, and there's several. They call Brown County the artist colony. Yeah. And um, so... But it's beautiful here, especially this time of year, and it's just starting to get some color around here. And um, we'll go over there, and I'll have to show you pictures. It really is. It's not, you know, Appalachian Mountain mountainous, but it is um, very, very hill. I would guess hilly, hill and dale. That's kind of what it. I mean, it's just. <laughs> 
up and down, up and down. There is no flat here in Bloomington, hardly at all, ever, anywhere. And, um, like, I live on a ridge. And so um, we're the highest spot in our little well, – my house is the highest spot in our subdivision. So, you know, it's not like I live on the side of a mountain. But it's, you know, we're hilly here. And that's what I was telling the Keith on the way back last night. I said, you know – it's mountainous down there, but it's not flat. Like where we came from, Evansville, it's flat. It's a river valley. So, you know, it's down by the Ohio River, and it's just flat. You know, you there is some grade, I guess, to yeah. it since we live in a valley. But it's just flat. Like, And I know northern Indiana is very flat because the glaciers came there. But not here. And did you know that Bloomington and the Bedford area, which – is Lawrence County. I live in Monroe County and Lawrence County is to the south. Our, um, we are very well known for limestone. Did you know that? Yes, I knew that. Mm -hmm. Well, Biltmore is, is made. My, Keith and Ke Ellie found this out when they were at Biltmore. Is made from Indiana limestone. Oh. Mm. Aha! There you go. There was, a, there was a railroad made specifically, you know, because Vanderbilt was a railroad tycoon. There was a railroad line made specifically from Bloomington to the Biltmore. Just to get the limestone for his house. Just, just to, <laughs> yeah, just to get the limestone for his house. Isn't that amazing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, yeah, we are, word, we are known worldwide for limestone. And I live from a quarry about, like I walk through, Keith and I, when we do our evening walk, we walk through a, a, an old, defunct, limestone quarry yeah it's no. right like a quarter of a mile from <laughs> they my build house. a railroad to get limestone for their house okay that's right yeah <laughs> so isn't that yeah. interesting yeah it is yeah 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 so that doesn't have anything to do with needlework but it had to do with Asheville and area in general lots to do lots of artists a beautiful scenery what's not to like and so yeah, if you ever have a chance to go there, and, the, and it's not hard to get there. I, the rail, you know, it's interstate all the way there. It's nice. The last little bit is kind of hairy, but yeah. other than that, it's easy to get to. A lovely area, good food. Yep, nice lovely. place to visit. Yep. yep all right, sure coming up, uh, coming up this weekend, Sunday, we have Ann Strike Kurz uh, is mm -hmm. our guest, and uh, interesting at Needlepoint. And, and other techniques, uh, fun conversation with her. And also coming up this weekend, two new hats designs, which, oh. yes, Vana sized hat, hats designs. I think yeah, that needs to be, are, a, I think that needs to be a sales mark, Vana sized. Well, did you hear Nicola say that they now refer that to Vana sized? No, I didn't hear that. No. Okay, so it already is a sales mark. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, well, not for her not for the sales, but to her stitchers. When they, she's like saying, I need this to stitch, what size is it? It is it, you know, Vana sized or Nicola sized? There we go. <laughs> so See, both of, it's, a, it's a trade name. Yeah, yeah. You should you should <laughs> need to you need to register it. Yeah. But uh yeah, so two two new ones, very nice, and I swore I wasn't gonna buy any more. Um, and you bought both. And I bought both, yep. And Harriet Salt. And Harriet Salt, yeah. Yep. So those are coming up this weekend. Can't say their names or anything, but we can say they're coming up. Yep. Yeah. Did you do a, did you do a video with her down there? No. Or did you already have one done? I have two more that I have to share from her. Oh, but, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. No, we never got, we never got to it. Okay. Next time, but probably the, in Nashville. The, okay. But the two new ones, you already had a video for? No. These are brand oh. new. I didn't even know they existed till we got there. Oh, 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 you're talking about the cat one. Yeah, I have other ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. I'm sorry. I'm I'm I got to catch up here. Yep. Sorry. So, two I'm new ones from her. And okay. um Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all. Unless okay, you have well, something else you want to talk about. I don't have anything else. I I've talked to you all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's it then. Thanks for listening. Alrighty. We talk fiber dot com to see all of the um all of the videos from the weekend. Also while you're there, uh, order up uh order up one or two needle minders on the shop page. 
Yeah, they are, the new ones are so nice. You, I got mine in the mail a couple of weeks ago. And boy, well, I mean, the big ones are nice, too, but the little guys are awful cute. Yeah. So they're, yeah, they're there. Yep. Yeah. And and strike curs this Sunday. And either Arlene or Debbie next Wednesday. Not sure which. Yeah. get You, you need a break from Vaughn for a but, while. Been a while since we talked to them. They probably think I don't want to talk to them anymore, but I do. <laughs> So that's coming up. All right. Thanks for listening. We talk fiber.com. Uh, fiber talk, maybe buy it, uh, gets you off the hook. And please mention fiber talk when you buy things because we appreciate that. Absolutely. Thanks. Bye bye.